A very good morning. You're watching our continuous coverage of the situation unfolding in Himachal Pradesh at the moment, where incessant rain for the last three days has led to landslides, highways being blocked, rivers in full spate. As you can see, uh, there are flash floods that have been triggered because of the heavy rains that have led to landslides. Homes have been swept away, cars have been swept away. There's been damage to life and property that has been reported. Now, incessant rain for the last three days has led to the situation unfolding uh, what you can see on your screens, uh, the worst affected areas are Mandi and Kulu. In fact, the Kulu Mandi crucial highway, National Highway Number no. 3, has been blocked. And a heavy rain alert for all the Himachal Pradesh districts, in fact, is going to now continue for the next 24 hours at least. That's what we're learning. Meanwhile, there's also a very heavy rain alert for four districts of Punjab. Um, the Shimla Kalka trains have been cancelled for two days. And water levels in the Yamuna, the Ravi, Bias and Satlej rivers have risen. The Bias river flowing at least five times above what the danger level is across most parts of the state is what local reporters are telling us. All rivers and tributaries across the state are in full spate. Three key bridges were swept away in Himachal Pradesh yesterday because of the heavy rainfall and uh, of course the, the gushing water in those rivers and tributaries which are in spate. All houses near the river bed, near the rivers, have been evacuated according to the local district authorities. And rescue operations are underway, especially along the Bias River and in the Kullu district at the moment. Worryingly, for farmers, uh, the tomato plantation in Himachal Pradesh uh, has been severely affected because of waterlogging and flooding in these areas. We're given to understand that tomato production, tomato farmers are going to be facing losses to the tune of three to 400 crores. And tomato supply across North India has also been affected. So very heavy rain alert in Uttarakhand also for the next two days. Meanwhile, those are the latest pictures that are coming in from uh, the Thunak Bazar area in Mandi, where as a result of landslides that happened slightly higher up above from where the civilization is, waters were seen gushing down carrying with it trees and chunks of concrete with homes that were completely washed away as that landslide in fact uh, took place. And those of course are the latest dramatic pictures that are coming in from uh, Gandhinagar in Kullu where you can see once again the Bias in full spate has altogether taken away structures, that entire home collapsing into the water in Himachal at the moment. So there is monsoon mayhem across the state some areas of course are worse off and other areas not so badly affected those are pictures from manali as you can see a bus there which was presumably parked on the side of the road which is right next to the river has completely been submerged chunks of state highways and national highways have just been swept away because remember a lot of the state and national highways in the state of himachal pradesh are actually adjoining the bias if you drive through the state of Himachal, you can actually see the river running parallel across many of the major national highways. So whether it's two-lane highways, chunks of which have completely been flown away, or whether it is bridges connecting crucial places in Himachal Pradesh uh, that have been affected. Now remember, this is going to raise several challenges in the coming days. What about connectivity? What about food supply? What about electricity? All of these are going to be very existential challenges for the establishment in Himachal Pradesh to tackle. A lot of these areas have already been cut off because remember if bridges have collapsed that, that means that connectivity has been severely hit. Our team of reporters trying to reach nearby areas in Himachal Pradesh are finding it extremely difficult to find routes that are still open because many major highways have been blocked and traffic movement across the state of Himachal Pradesh has been restricted because remember there is a heavy rain alert for 24 hours which means more landslides, more flash floods in order to prevent further loss of life and property highways and traffic movement along major highways in precarious areas has been stopped. So accessing a lot of these areas is going to be extremely difficult and many questions are now going to emerge over what's been the true extent of damage, how many homes have been destroyed, have people lost their lives in this tragedy, what is the situation as far as food supply and essentials are concerned, medical supplies is concerned, all of those remember are questions at the moment because like I said, our team of journalists, our team of reporters are finding it very hard to access some of those areas. Some of those areas where we have a local network of people giving us information, we are getting that information for you. Some of those areas, of course, have completely been cut off as well. 
What does the Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister have to say at the moment? Let's listen. हमने आपदा से निपटने के लिए तीन नंबरों को जारी किया है ये नंबर है 1100 नंबर 1070 नंबर 1077 नंबर यानी कि 1100-1070-1077 और इन नंबरों पर आप कॉल करके जो भी कोई व्यक्ति आपदा में फंसा उसकी जानकारी आप इन नंबरों के माध्यम से हमारे माध्यम से पहुंचा सकते हैं मैं भी 24 घंटे आपकी सेवा के लिए उपलब्ध हूं मेरा टेलीफोन 24 घंटे आपके लिए खुला रहेगा इस आपदा की घड़ी में मैं सभी विधायकों से एक बार फिर अनुरोध करना चाहता हूं कि वो अपने विधानसभा क्षेत्र में रहें लोगों पर जो विपदा आई है उसमें उनका सहयोग कर रहे हैं और जो नुकसान हुआ है नुकसान की भरपाई के लिए भी आप लोगों के साथ सहयोग करें it's really worrisome and uh, right now we have just uh, got two dead bodies till now one uh, yesterday in a place called Tikan which is uh, bordering Kangra and one we have identified in Pando and the traffic movement has been completely stopped we have evacuated all the houses uh, the, which were located near the rivers and till now no casualty has been reported in the mainland that is Monday Right, thank you ma'am for those crucial details. So far we had no confirmation about any loss of life, but as Ms. Somia is pointing out, unfortunately two deaths have been recorded up till now. Meanwhile, the traffic movement has been completely stopped. But as far as the update on artillery highways is concerned, ma'am, do we have an estimate on when traffic movement is expected to resume? No, definitely not now. We won't be able to comment upon it. Uh, the reason being the rains have again uh, increased and also all the rivers are in state. So once they come down, once the water level goes down and there is a lot of loss and damage that has occurred on the construction as well. So only after that, once the rains come to a complete stop, then we would be able to comment upon it. Right ma'am, in terms of the rescue operations and the relief efforts on the ground, could you give us a sense of what's happening currently? In terms of rescue, I can tell you that uh, all the places which are under danger zone and which could come under this danger zone have been evacuated, number one. And people who were stranded in their houses and where the water level suddenly surged, they have also been removed. And uh, as far as um, relief operations are concerned, the tourists who were stranded, they have been accommodated in the Gurdwaras and also they have made alternate arrangements in the hotels and food has also been supplied over there. All right, so this of course is an update on the situation. Very crucially, we spoke with the SP of Mandi earlier and she's pointed out several things. One is, like I said, this is information that's relevant to the public, that all major roads have uh, been shut for traffic. So traffic movement's actually not being permitted because of the fear of landslides, presumably. All homes along the Bias have been evacuated and stranded tourists have been given shelter in Gurdwaras. Uh, so that's the status update as far as Mandi is concerned. Remember, Mandi is a very crucial uh, juncture that actually connects um, New Delhi, Chandigarh, etc. It's a, it's, it's a very big transit town uh, to get further past into Himachal Pradesh. And, and, and the highway beyond Mandi connecting Kulu is also completely shut off at the moment. So if you're planning travel in that area, it's highly um, advisable that you look at what the latest weather advisories are and only then try and venture out into that area. Meanwhile, we also connected with uh, our local reporters on the ground. Uh, Govind has uh, been reporting from Mandi. He sent us uh, this update. पिछले तीन दिनों से लगातार बारिश हो रही है और तीनों तरफ से भारी नुकसान की खबर है मंडी का ऐतिहासिक जो पंचवक्तर मंडी मंदिर था और वहां पे जो साथ में ब्रिज था वो बह चुका है ये मंडी को रात को साढ़े आठ बजे की यह घटना है पंडो के साथ ब्यास नदी के ऊपर जो शिवा बाजार की तरफ जाते हैं पुल है वो भारी बहाव के चलते बह गया हुआ है ऑट और बंजार ऑट से जो अंदर बंजार को सड़ जाता है वो पुल भी बह गया है मनाली के पास जो साथ में सड़क के किनारे गाड़ियां लगी हुई थी पंद्रह से बीस गाड़ियां बह चुकी हुई हैं और मंडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में बल घटी है जहां से पूरे उत्तरी भारत को टमाटर की सप्लाई हो रही थी वहां पे 500 या 600 करोड़ का व्यवसाय होता है तो सारे खेत जो है वो पानी से भर चुके हैं और फसल भी पूरी तरह से बर्बाद हो गई है डीसी मंडी अरविंदम चौधरी जी और एस मैडम सौम्या सांबवी शिवम वो पूरी तरह से सतर्क है लोगों को हाई अलर्ट किया गया है जगह जगह गाड़ियां घुमाई जा रही हैं, लोगों को सचेत किया जा रहा है 
और मंडी से जो भ्यूली क्षेत्र है और उसके आसपास के क्षेत्र है मंडी बाजार है जो वहां से लोगों को व्यास नदी के पास से सेफ जगह पे शिफ्ट किया जा रहा है सबसे बड़ी बात ये है कि जो हमारे पूर्व मुख्यमंत्री हैं वो सराज क्षेत्र से आते हैं सराज के थुनाग में बादल खटने की खबर आई थी और वहां पे पूरे बाजार में जो एक दो घर बहे हैं लकड़ियां हैं सारे बाजार में आई हुई हैं काफी वीडियो वायरल हुआ है लेकिन अभी तक किसी के हताहत होने की या किसी के सिर्फ नुकसान की खबरें आई हुई है कोई लॉस की ह्यूमन लॉस हुआ हो उस तरह की खबर अभी तक नहीं आई हुई है एनडीआरएफ टीम्स को सभी को सतर्क कर दिया गया हुआ है और सभी अपने लोकल लेवल्स पे लगे हुए हैं अभी जो हमारा है डिस्ट्रिक्ट कुल्लू में भी छह लोग फंसे हुए थे छह लोगों को वहां से रेस्क्यू कर दिया गया है रात के दो बजे